Okay, so for those out there that all of that is too deep, everything we just went into, because it, it is for, we, I call it privilege, call it whatever. We have spent time yeah. going down the path of research enough to understand that the things that we're saying truly do matter when you have an understanding of nutrition. Uh, what about for the people that right now are just eating out? Yeah. They're just, uh, their significant other putting food in front of them. Mm-hmm. They don't know where it's from. They like it. It tastes good. Maybe they're not in a position that they'd like to be with their body composition. Maybe they're not someone that habitually works out. So that's not a habit. And because that's not a habit, they see what happens the more that they're eating, but they don't, they don't really know. They don't really know where to start. I mean, most people that are commuting back and forth all over the place are eating out five or six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 15 times a week. Like, not cooking yeah. at home, right? So where, where does somebody start? Meal. Somebody, the person, the person that asked us to talk about diet in the first place was somebody that has just got up and disappeared from the United States and has jumped into a completely new place. Mm-hmm. Doesn't know the local culture. Doesn't know the local food. You know, when he was here, cooked for himself all the time. Made it a point because of the things that you're saying. But is in a new place. Where do you start? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think you have to start with the end in mind. If you can be firm enough on the justification and the rationale behind making that transition, then that can put you in a good place. Example, some people want to reduce the amount of out-to-eat you know, uh, trips that they do eating out from a financial standpoint mm-hmm. because they're spending too much money. But what if you have all the money in the world, then you don't care about the, the fact that it's more expensive to do that. So then you need to have a deeper reason behind it. So then if health becomes the reason, then you actually recognize that sometimes it's not really the eating out that's the problem. It's what is more readily available to you. There are hundreds more McDonald's than there are places like True Food Kitchen. Or Upbeat. Or Upbeat, right? Like upbeat I, is. I'll go to oof. Upbeat seven days a week. Why? Because they have built themselves on the same principles we're talking about. They source everything so as nice locally too. as they can. <laughs> it's all, it's literally all whole foods. You pick if you want kale, if you want uh, chard, if you want spinach, and then you cho- choose your grains. But obviously that's so much harder to do, so they can't put them up in every zip code the way they can do with a Waffle House. So I think if somebody starts with really mm-hmm. knowing why they want to make that transition, that can be the anchor point that shows them the way, because if you are tremendously busy and money's not a problem, then you can start to consider other options like uh, even maybe getting a caterer or or, or a chef or something. Meal prep services. I was going to say the things like the purple carrots or the uh, Hello Fresh or this, then the third. Blue Apron where then you can cook it or the butcher boxes. There's so many options. Yeah, butcher boxes. That's that's a great point. Yeah, where they take the, um, where it's meat that's not, it's intentionally non industrialized meat. It is mm-hmm. small farms. It is locally sourced within X amount of miles of where they're delivering it from. Yep. And it's animals that lived life out. A full happy know? life until that last moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now you're paying for it. You exactly. know, you're definitely monetarily paying for it. But again, if that's not something that you're worried about, but you'd still like that meat on our former episode, you need to go listen to it. Uh, yeah. But if you'd still like that meat, that's a great place to go to. Uh, I find that sometimes the time suck for me Literally. of of cooking. I'm like, ah, oh, there ain't no way. So I could spend ten dollars and get to the place that Upbeat could get me for twenty five dollars. Mm-hmm. But the time spent preparing all the things in the manner that they would to get that same amount of time spending eating, sometimes it's just worth the. I'll just take the ball for twenty bucks. You for know? sure, we'll just we'll keep it moving. And that's why those goals matter because yeah. ultimately people just need to know that there are options. You know what I mean? Like even uh, people who want to eat better, but they don't want to make the full leap to locally sourced, organic, grown, all this other stuff, and you're cooking every single night. There are these intermediate steps that, that can be done. Even somebody who eats at a, a, a McDonald's or something, even though both of you and I advise against that, if you can help it, there are better choices on that menu than others. Something simple People, you can get the chicken sandwich fried, or you can get it grilled. The grilled chicken sandwich is a whole lot better than the double Big Mac. You know, so it's like... From a nutrient profile. From a nutrient profile standpoint. If you have to have something there, if you're not 
you will, I mean, in a lot of ways you have free will regardless, but yeah. if you don't have another viable option in the time constraint that you're in and you're faced with the McDonald's menu, it is much more advisable to go with the McChicken, the grilled chicken mm-hmm. sandwich, than it is to go with a Big Mac. Yeah. And there's just, and, and, and starting to think in that way, it, it does require reprogramming of sorts. You know, I grew up where literally even in high school, I would sometimes for dinner eat multiple bowls of cereal. One, because financially, that's what the hell we had. Mm-hmm. And it was a convenience standpoint. It was just so much. And, you I know, did that shit you, all the time. If you don't know any just, better, they're like, whoa, you're literally finna eat these hollow ass calories, all this fake sugar, you know, all of this other dyes and all this crazy stuff in it. But if you don't know any better and you're not really aware of the options yeah. and you're fi- you know, you're constrained in all these different ways, that's why it really takes putting that goal out in front. And if that goal is I want to be health conscious or I want to save money or I want to support my local environment, everybody's justification is going to be different. Mm-hmm. But really hone in on that and then it makes it easier to work backwards and find the solutions that can remedy that particular problem you find yourself hoping to solve. Um, so, I mean, we can't really make a one-size-fits-all recommendation, which is why we're throwing out these scattershot yeah. options.